Okay, so I had a sneaking suspicion that the air suspension on this 2014 WK2 Grand Jet Cherokee has a leak in it. I'm going to confirm whether it's actually in the strut or whether it might be the valve block. So I'm going to take some measurements. You can hear it going up now, see? It looks to me as though it does have a leak in it. I'm going to take some measurements and um, then jack the car up. If there are the folds in the bag are causing the leak, then uh, they should be in reasonable shape to um, show that. And if it's not the bags, then it might be the actual valve block. It looks to me as though it's about the bags because the car is actually adjusting itself right now. All right, let's give it a crack. I'm going to fire up J-Scan, WK2. I'll do a few things on this one. So first I've got to turn the car to the on mode. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so we're going to connect to our Bluetooth. All right, so let's go to let's go to adaptation right now. We're going to go to air suspension. Let's see what the system readings are. <clears throat> let's go. And we'll use these to compare um, to after we jack the car up. All right, here we go. So it says the MS2 low. I filled this with nitrogen a few days ago, so it's obviously uh, clearly leaking somewhere. All right, you can see that the front left, which is the driver's side, is at 14 bar litre, so um, that's 87 PSI. So from my calculations, each strut holds about 2.5 litres. But you can see it's 87 PSI versus 116 for the right side. Okay, so we're gonna record that, and then what we're going to do is uh, jack the car up, and let it sit there for a bit and see whether it sags. Okay, so you can see it jacked up. Wheels off the ground. You can see the actual strut itself. It's an original. And I do suspect it's leaking, so um, by jacking up this way, if there's any holes in the bag that are covered by the folds when it compresses down to a lower height, then um, they'll be exposed, and frankly, it's, it's about 80, 90 psi. It should uh, significantly leak out, so we'll see what happens when we um, come back in 30 minutes. Connect. <coughs> right, adaptation, air suspension. Let's see what the readings are. Okay. <coughs> there you go, now we're down to that. 8 bar, 44 psi for the front left. So um, clearly that's leaking. So I suspect what's going to happen when I let the um, jack down is the level of um, of the chassis to the wheel is going to be quite low. So let's check that out. So I'm just lowering it slowly. Let's see how far down it goes. <coughs> yeah, remember I disconnected the compressor relay, so I won't get on. Yeah. Yeah, there's a problem. Okay, I'm not okay so running it again. Now with the <coughs> suspension down, there's uh, evidence here. You can see that um, well, you can see that <coughs> it's completely collapsed after lifting up on a jack. So what we need to do is figure out how to get the compressor running again. And you can see we're at uh, five psi, which is not great. Four, oh, sorry, forty-four psi, five bar liter. Okay, and do an advanced scan. <coughs> I think the compressor's not working because the air mass is too low. I just ran the test. I'm going to clear these. All right, so we've got low air mass and ECU in plant mode. All right, so I've hooked my low side up to the uh, pressure tank. Got my nitrogen here. And the way I do it is I actually connect my um, Connect the hose, the low side hose, to the high side because the gauge is more accurate on this side. So what I'm going to do, you can see that there's only 50 psi in the tank, it's too low. You can see my wheel is down. So I'm going to try and pop it up. Now I'm going to come in here, drive that down so I'm, oh, I'm getting a pressure reading, so I know that's working. So I'm going to close this off for a second, and it's closed. Let's see what sort of psi I'm pumping through this bad boy. Okay, get up to 150. There's 150 there. Oh, that'll be under 150. Okay, let's start with that. So it looks like if you run the air suspension system readings, if you have the DTC that puts the car in plant mode, it will eliminate it. But at least it'll get it out of plant mode. But I just want to get enough nitrogen in here. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, so now I'm going to start the car and we'll see whether or not we can get this thing to Pump up. Now something's moving, so that's good news. So you can see my pressure's now dropped down to 100, so I'm going to put more in it.
get it closer to the 175 mark. So let's do air suspension system reading, go, let's do it again. I suspect it's going to say everything's fine and dandy now. So if you're in plant mode, do air suspension system reading, it should get you out of uh, plant mode, but you got to go through the whole thing. So you can still see that my left air spring is low compared to the right, much better than it was before. So there you can see the ECU initialization was successful. Please ensure DTC, C, blah, 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 is set and stored and clear. It's set to stored and clear. But seems to do that always up. Now if I go to do my dashboard, quick diagnostic, any trouble codes? No. Okay, let's go to advanced scan. Let that do its thing. Okay, I should be able to clear those diags. No, okay, so we're in good shape there. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this. So I close this valve. I close that valve. I'm now going to close this. No, don't really need to close that. And if I can, I'm going to rotate this that way so I can essentially well, close this so when I take it off it doesn't release too much pressure from here. And then what I usually do is you now I rotate it the other way because it's a bit snug in here. You know, that's off and I can, I can usually be enough room to pull the thing out. And for those of you that are wondering, you can pull this little flap over here usually. You can just lift up and the whole thing comes off and you just snap it back down. Alright. So I think with that, we're done for now.